What's up everybody, Grant here, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at another tempered glass screen protector for your OnePlus 3 and your OnePlus 3T. This one's obviously by Orsley. I got this on Amazon for, I believe, $13, so it's, it comes as a two-pack. Open it up, and this is what you get. So you've got your typical screen wipes, your microfiber cleaning cloth to clean your screen down. Claim your free case and accessories. I think this stuff, if I, I pre-read it, you've got to get some likes on Facebook and do all that kind of stuff so it's not really actually free. Um, you got to do some social media stuff for them. And then here it is, so your Orsley tempered glass. So if we open this up, get all the contents out. So these are your stickers to remove any kind of lint that might remain on your screen before installation. Tempered glass screen protector installation instructions. And here's your two tempered glass screen protectors. So this is the, these are full edge to edge screen protectors here. And I didn't want to go with these initially because I wanted something that would play nicely with cases. So I went with this Nilkin tempered glass here and it's not an edge to edge. It leaves some room around your edges there for things like cases. But the problem with this is that if you can see here, let's see if we can show it, it leaves this kind of halo effect around the edges where it kind of bubbles up and it doesn't adhere perfectly to the edges of the screen. And this is partly due to, or this is due to the fact that the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T use that 2.5D curved glass at the edges. So a lot of screen protectors, a lot, a lot of tempered glasses won't curve along with that screen and so you're going to get left with these bubbled up haloed edges and so it's been a great screen protector but that is just not a good look on your device there so this is recommended to me uh, from someone in the comments section so shout out to you you know who you are um, I'm going to give this a shot if this doesn't work out I might have to go to the official one plus three Temper glass, but I don't think that's going to play well with a wide range of cases. So Orsley says this is their version two uh, updated pack. So version two, it's supposed to play better with a wide range of cases. Definitely their cases. Uh, we'll see. I've got my own cases here from the official One Plus Three shell to a few other cases that I did some videos on. We'll see if some of these play nicely or not uh, with this particular one here. Let's go ahead and try to install it. We'll take off this one here and we'll take a close look and wipe down the edges alright so there we go we've got it on and you can see it it's hard to show probably, but you can see it covers most of the screen. The edges are a little exposed there, so there is some room for some cases. Or I think the screen protector is more hovering over the glass a little bit. And so when you press on it, you can see a little bit of rainbow effect. So let me see if I can get in the light there. It's kind of hard to show. But there is a bit of a dot matrix kind of a, a look to this screen protector if you look at it at an angle. You can kind of see that dot matrix pattern, it might not show up on the camera. And with the screen turned off, you can see some of the rainbow effect that some other folks were commenting on. But once you get the screen on, I don't really see that unless they start angling it. And you can kind of see it a little bit. So I don't know if that's going to bother me, we'll see. But touch sensitivity, pretty good. Doesn't feel as nice as, and smooth as the Nokin screen protector did. But it is on there. And I do see some of that rainbow effect. I think it's depending on how the light hits the temper glass and how you angle your screen. But you can definitely see that dot matrix pattern if you angle it in the light. You can definitely see some of that rainbow effect. So we'll have to take this outside. We'll have to use it some more to see how much that rainbow effect bothers me over time. But at least there is no halo effect going on here. I don't see anything around the edges. This, this looks pretty seamless there so it's a lot better look a lot cleaner look which is what I was going for but let's try to play some put some cases on here I'm assuming it should work with this one plus three shell because it is so thin and yeah it does there's no issue with that 
as you can kind of see there on the edge there, you can see the screen protector edge there, and there's a case, so it doesn't interfere with the temper glass being so thin, it doesn't have any raised edges. So using an official one plus three shell shouldn't be a problem. How about something like a Spigen rugged armor case here? It's fairly thin, so it should be okay. Yeah, and so the Spigen rugged armor too still plays okay with this Orsley temper glass. So on the edges there, you can see the temper glass edge to the case. It does not raise it up. Plays fine with that. And we've got a couple more here. We've got a policing clear case. Since the speaking work, this should work. Yep, and that does as well. So you can see there, it does not raise up the glass. Edge of the glass of the case is fine. So that policing clear case will also work. This one, the Poetic Affinity, this is the one I'm not so sure. It has a lot more raised edges than the others. So let's try to give it a go here. And yeah, I think that worked. It did not pop up the glass. You can see it there. It does up a lot more than the other cases, but it does not interfere with that glass. You can see the glass edge to the case. There is a small gap. So looks like Orsley did a good job in revamping this version of their tempered glass. So it is almost full coverage is not quite edge to edge slight slight gap to give you that flexibility to use a wide range of cases but still have a lot more protection than something like the Nilkin screen protectors or the screen protectors that barely cover up your screen and it also covers up the top and bottom here um, forehead and chin so a little bit more protection the only thing you're going to give up is that it sits above the glass it has this dot matrix pattern and there is a little bit of rainbowing effect so depending if you can live with that on the display you don't get the haloing effect around the edges. You do get flexibility of using various different cases and a little bit more protection out of this Orsley tempered glass screen protector. So if that's something you're interested in picking up, I'll leave links in the description. But again, this was the Orsley premium tempered glass for your OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T. They're version 2 that plays nicer with cases. So if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching.